And so to help us understand the issue, I have in studio with me Nilesh Jada from the, Ani, from the Energy Research Institute at Nanyang Technological University. So uh, Nilesh, thank you very much for coming in today. Now as a backdrop to discussions about energy, uh, the key thing for Singapore is ensuring energy security and diversity in our supply. So how would you assess um, our overall energy profile? I think Singapore at the moment is uh, very much dependent on pipe natural gas. And that's going to change with the, the LNG plants that are announced recently. Uh, I think apart from that, we do not have significant other options for now. Right, so um, yeah, I think we, we, we traditionally have moved from coal in the past, yes. uh, over the past 10 years, into gas completely. About 80% of our electricity is produced through gas. Mm -hmm. And with LNG introduction, I think, in Singapore, it will just build on to that robustness of, of gas supply. Okay, so I mean, we're, we're a small country. Ultimately, we don't really have a choice. We're relying on other people for a lot of things, uh, energy, Absolutely. food, water as well. So is, uh, is this sustainable in the long term? And how will the new LNG terminal uh, help us along with that? Okay, I think I'll answer you the, the first question first. Uh, as a small country, uh, we, we, we do have a limited amount of choices uh, for producing our energy. And natural gas has been, has been there, LNG will help it. Now, we, we have also started to look at renewable energy as an option. But before we go on to that, my personal belief is that we should look at energy efficiency. Mm -hmm. And I think before we turn, off, turn on the switch in our, in our rooms, we have to realize that that energy is produced, by, uh, produced somewhere and then transported to us. And if we, uh, if, we, we, if we are mindful of that, we should be able to reduce our energy uh, requirement uh, per se by, for example, adopting more energy efficient equipment right. at, at our homes, more energy efficient lighting, better aircon, that will reduce our energy needs, first of all. And then we could think about uh, embarking on renewable energy, which at the moment struggles with the, uh, the startup capital costs, which is uh, typically more expensive, for, like for solar or for wind. So oh, when we talk about renewable energy, solar power immediately comes to mind. Mm -hmm. uh, but how feasible or how viable is solar energy uh, on a large scale? Sure. I, I'm a big, big proponent of solar energy uh, myself. But uh, looking at Singapore case, I think solar energy does, at this moment, needs a lot of uh, land coverage okay. uh, to, to be, take it to a very significant level. What has been explored is an alternative to put solar energy on the rooftop, to, mm -hmm. or, or rather put solar panels on the rooftop to, to explore the energy from there. And uh, we can only have a limited amount of rooftops in Singapore. I mean, uh, if we cover the whole of Singapore with solar, pa solar panels, the, all of our, our HDP homes and, and industry and everything, uh, we, we probably could reach up to uh, 5 to 10% uh, of our total energy mix by solar eventually. But that is also difficult because our grid has to be ready for the supply of solar, which is variable, which it, it, it varies because of the cloud cover in Singapore. So that makes it worse. Interesting. So uh, you mentioned energy efficiency earlier, not just where it comes from, but how we use it and how efficiently we use it. So earlier in September, Environment Minister Vivian Balakrishnan said that energy efficiency has overtaken sustainable water supply as a critical concern for Singapore. Would you agree with that? I'm not surprised at all. I think uh, energy efficiency is energy, as you know, globally is getting very political. Uh, over, over five, six years, we'll, we'll see that uh, people might fight over it. The next world war would be about, about energy, who knows? So I think uh, energy efficiency, saving energy, uh, making, managing, our, uh, uh, managing energy frugally, right. having saving energy, I think that would be the, the first option that we should adopt. And it's something which is, uh, people often call it a low-hanging fruit, because that's just there. You, know? you just need to use more efficient equipment and uh, turn, on your, turn off your lights when you go out. I mean, the simple things like that, but there are, there are, in our research institute, we look at more advanced systems for reducing energy. Okay, so just being a lot more responsible about energy Absolutely, usage. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming in today. Sure. Pleasure having you. Thank you. And that was Nilesh on Singapore's energy security going forward.